Hey guys, welcome back to Thin Line Stories. Today's story is about a young woman named Mackenzie Davis. Now Mackenzie is only 21 years old. Mackenzie's story comes out of Flagler County, Florida. She is a 911 dispatcher. So it's September 6th, 2020. Mackenzie's been on the job for about two years now. And she has already seen and heard and handled quite a lot. However, on this day, she is going to save not one, but two lives in a matter of an hour. So around 3.30 in the afternoon, Mackenzie takes a call from a frantic mother. And Mackenzie is just like, 911, what's your emergency? Her six-month-old baby has stopped breathing. Take a listen to the call. I get choked up every time I hear it. It's like the third time I've listened to it. Every time it gets me. Okay, now take a listen to 21-year-old Mackenzie and how she handles this. No, 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 ma'am, I need you to take a deep breath for me. What's going on? The six-month-old, I was, in fact, able to get through to her. I was able to keep her calm enough to do compression. So Mackenzie talks the mother through CPR very calmly, saves this child like it was nothing, like it was just another day. She had the composure to just keep going on with her day a skill and a feat that I don't even have and I'm a lot older. I'm thinking anybody else would need to call it a day after that. I would need to just go in a corner and like suck my thumb or at least drink a big huge bottle of wine. But not Mackenzie. Mackenzie keeps going, keeps working and taking calls. Within an hour, Mackenzie takes another phone call, this time from a woman frantically screaming and crying. Her husband has fallen into the pool and is not breathing. 21 year old Mackenzie, once again, calm as can be, tells the woman to put her on speakerphone so that everyone around can hear her instructions clearly. And she proceeds to walk this woman through the steps of CPR and saves this man's life as well. Yeah, my husband, the husband's in the, pool, in the pool and he's not breathing. And she says, this, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and he's going to be fine. And both baby and the 71 year old man were fine incredible now i know all of my 911 dispatchers out there are like yeah just a day in the life just what we do um hello you're amazing you are incredible and you are a hero so thank you so much for what you do